Boston City Council is in agreement that three developers will handle a major redevelopment of the city's waterfront. Melissa Rademacher talked to the mayor about what last night's vote to secure the land sale and the project, what that'll mean for the area. For what is right now mostly abandoned buildings, the city of North Charleston is officially part of a plan, a vision to build a vibrant downtown along the river. In negotiating this deal, the primary thing was for us to maintain public access to the water. 23 acres of the 53 acre site will be public spaces, parks and streets. The area includes plans for more than 1,400 housing units, with 17% of them being considered affordable workforce housing. Probably foresee some of the first developments being that type of housing over to one side. It won't be the waterfront property but it will be part of the property where it's walking access to the waterfront. The plans are set to include residential, retail, office, and entertainment spaces with a pavilion and market hall. Owners of Coast Brewing, a hidden gem in the mostly now empty area, say they are cautiously optimistic. I hope I'm not that little house in up where everything's built up high around it and we're this little tiny building down here. That would look funny, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I'm, I'm quite excited. I um, just hope it's done, you know, right. Mayor Summy says he has worked on this project for the nearly 30 years he's been in office and is glad to close the deal as he prepares to close out his time as the city's leader. He knows there are still many years of planning and construction, but looks forward to what the city is doing. And quickly on a development like this, maybe 10 years. Uh, but it, we see it, I'd like to see it in my lifetime where I can go out there and walk along the waterfront. In North Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.